Yet another very, very disappointing performance from the Wolves. <sighs> Cardiff uh, 2, Wolves 1. Uh, and really, again, the deficiencies in attack and midfield have been highlighted by that performance. We were unable to create as many chances as we had done in previous defeats. Uh, there wasn't that positive to take out of it. And also, the front three just don't look like they're going to score. Too often, the wide players don't have anybody to aim at in the middle. Too often, the attacks are, are too clumsy. The touches are just all over the place. It just doesn't look cohesive like it did last season. And there are major, major issues, major concerns uh, for me uh, now. Um, having lost, you know, a couple of... A couple of months ago, we were winning games but not playing particularly well or not taking the chances. And we were all sort of wary of that creeping in and, and our luck sort of wearing out. Um, and this seems to have happened now. So we've played two of the bottom three in this uh, in this last couple of games. And to come away with zero points from both games and to have only scored one goal is a, is awful. Really, really terrible and... The run of form fixtures that we've got now ahead of us, Chelsea on uh, Wednesday and then Newcastle away, which is not an easy game, even though they're having a bit of a hit and miss season. You've got Liverpool thrown in there as well, Spurs away. It's difficult. I think really now we are looking over our shoulders and if, if results go against us tomorrow, if teams underneath us win, then we are really, really in the mire. Because we were saying yesterday, uh, last week... That, yeah, okay, we're not playing very well, we're losing all these games, at least we're eight points above the relegation zone still. That's getting smaller now, and it will get smaller over the weekend. We need to stop the rot. Now, I've said lots of times that things need to change, and something and something will change now, because Neves is suspended for the Chelsea game. So, either Gibbs-White or Dendonka, that's the most confusing signing of the history of Wolves at the moment. How he has not played a minute of football in the Premier League, I don't understand. Sace coming in today, I did call for Sace uh, amongst friends in conversation, uh, but in midfield to just give us that bit more of a muscle in a, what was going to be a competitive championship-like game. He came in in defence and did a fairly good job today, I felt. Um, and, but we're lacking in midfield. Neves and Moutinho, people were concerned at the beginning of the season that they were the too similar type of player, and they are. They're we haven't got that muscle that other teams have got. That big central midfielder that lots of teams have. And when they put three in midfield or five across the middle, we're too easy to beat because we're getting Moutinho turned around facing his own goal too often. Neves has been nullified, although he did, again, he put a few good passes through today. Uh, but we're seriously, seriously lacking at the moment. And it's, um, I'm concerned, genuinely concerned. Uh, fortunately, January is coming up. And we're going to, well, we'll have to spend some money and have to bring in some players to supplement the front three because they are not good enough at the moment. Traore played slightly better than he did last Sunday, but again, I'm not a fan of his. Uh, I don't see what he brings to the team. Um, people are going to say, people are going to comment and criticise my view on Traore, but he he doesn't offer enough of what he should be doing. He 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 is good on the, he's quick. But his end product is poor. People, Somebody commented on my last video saying that he had the most crosses into the box. When there's nobody in the box or when there's the crosses are poor, it's pointless, completely pointless. Uh, he's not contributing enough to the team. Um, Jimenez, for all his effort and for all his work rate, is not making anything happen. And then whoever it is, Costa, again, that's two or three poor games in a row. Well, he played well against Arsenal, that's two poor games in a row. Uh... I, if I was Nuno now going into the game on Wednesday against uh, Chelsea, seeing it as a bit of a free hit, although he would say that no game is ever a free hit and we're going to keep the same, well, things have to change now. You have to change it when you've lost, was it five games out of six? Picked up one point in that time. That is massively relegation for me. It's no longer a blip. We're, not, look, we're no longer playing well. Uh, things have to change. And... Uh, Although there were signs of improvement from Sunday's performance today, it wasn't consistently good enough. And particularly with the just the way they're moving the ball, we were so used to it being so good. It's awful. It is terrible the way that they are passing the ball around for large parts of the game. There were spells where we did look good in possession, but 
really, really negative. Now, I know that today I've been hyper-critical of the team, but I think it's deserved, and particularly at the end of this run of form that they've had, well, hopefully the end, I reckon we'll get something against Chelsea because that's the way that this team play. But it has to... We have to sort it out. We've got to spend some money in January. Got to get some firepower. We don't look frightening. To me, I know what's going to happen. I've, I've watched... Uh, I think today was the first game that I've missed since the Leeds game back in March. Um, I know that when we get the ball and we attack, we'll look threatening. But I know that there's no end product. I know that there's not going to be a goal at the end of a swift counter-attack. That has to change. We have to get in somebody who's going to be clinical in that final third. And I think... I. I would welcome three completely new players in in those positions because the current ones we've got are not are not cutting the mustard at the Premier League level. And it's a shame because they are good players, I think, but they just look completely bereft of any confidence and they look bereft of ideas when they get into that final third. Their touches are awful. Cavaliero came on again, had a chance to go through, but a bit of a fumble in the, with his feet and the chance went, really. Gibbs White... Snatched at a chance with five minutes to go. I don't know. Maybe I should stop talking now and just calm down and reflect a little bit. But I'm very, very frustrated. I did. I said to people in work today that I thought we'd lose. But when we went 1-0 ahead, I thought we'd be able to manage the game well and build something good and, and get at least a draw. I'd have been happy with a draw before the game. Uh, I think even at 1-0. We didn't play well to be 1-0. We didn't deserve to be 1-0 up. And Cardiff did deserve to be to get something out of the game, and the goal that they that won the game was very good. The first goal, Patricio is at fault. What he's doing there is beyond me. <laughs> it's just it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing that that first goal. Cartoon defending, cartoon defending. But anyway, um, I don't suppose anybody's going to want to like this video. But if you do, please do um, subscribe for more. If you dare at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you in the week. Bye bye.